how it happened, you didn't like it. You see, he knows. He knew what to do. So while the people were there, uh, what were uh, somebody Philip will tell Judas? To the Lord. Your presence is a sign that you are grateful. You present yourself before the Lord. Thank Him. Tomorrow Monday will start on a very good note in your life. Say, Jude, did you bring enough money in the coffers? The man has told you not the money. Tell the man. one day at a time with what what i know is that i need to expect things one day at a time so i will continue to work with god one day at a time and that is what i will expect for everybody you cannot tell the next minute so just carry it one day at a time continue to work with god and then follow his instructions so that is what i will wish for everybody that this year just take it one day at a time. But with the government, I think that all that I have for them is that it is obvious that this earth was fashioned and created by God. And he is the only one who has the reason, who has a solution to every problem and difficulty that we can go through, we are going through. So they should also dwell on God and then go to him and ask for directions. I feel happy about entering this year. Because uh, as a Christian, the Bible says in Philippians 4, for rejoice in the Lord, rejoice again, I say rejoice. And then uh, it continues by saying give thanks in everything. So I am rejoicing and at the same time giving thanks to the Lord for taking me through 2022 and then bringing me to the beginning of the year 2023. Same time also to be positive minded in everything that I am doing, which is my work. And so in this case, if we keep our mind on the negative aspect and then we start feeling, oh, how come I how am I going to make it and then everything is bad for me, I'm hopeless, all those kind of things, negative minded and then negative self-talk. That means it will impact on our life and then whatever we think that is even the Bible says as the man think as uh, look at uh, as the society or the environment around us then that is also how it affects us emotionally and then our emotion also impacts our uh, behavior so uh, in psychology we say uh, cognitive affective and uh, behavior what we think affects i mean changes the way we feel it's always exciting to make progress in life and uh, m moving into a new year is always a, a wonderful opportunity it's a new start a new beginning um, this year, this day happens to be the beginning of a week, the beginning of a year, the beginning of a month. It's, it's, it's a wonderful um, day. So I'm happy. I'm happy that I uh, made it into this year. Um, yes, quite a few things um, with my career, with my education, with a few other things. There are quite a few things that I have planned and I believe that um, taking it step by step, I'll be able to achieve all those things. That I, I feel alive. I feel enlightened after yesterday's service because the word of God came to me strongly. And uh, the plans that I have for the year, previously before the service, it has given me, uh, given me a light to know what to do and also how to execute all the plans that I have for the year and the businesses that we want to put in place. <laughs>